Today, I'm gonna to be talking about an opportunity that you're letting pass by you right now. This opportunity is one that it's probably not gonna be here forever, but it is gonna be here for the foreseeable future. But you need to get into this right now. The opportunity of a lifetime, Bob, are you nuts? And I'm also gonna give you some proof throughout the video, so that way it can prove to you that you need to be doing this. If you're not doing this, you're missing out on money. You're leaving money on the table. So what is it? Well, let's go ahead and find out, shall we? Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and quickly cover what exactly is print on demand. So for those of you that don't know, print on demand is really a fulfillment business model. So through print on demand, you have the ability to be able to print your designs on a multitude of products. So you're able to print on things like t-shirts, hoodies, shorts, and even shoes. Not only that, but you can also print on other types of products like let's say mugs, cups, certain household items like bedding, shower curtains, household flags, and a lot more. So you have the possibility to be able to customize a lot of different products. Now, somebody's gonna come to your store and they're gonna place an order for one of these products. Then instead of you actually having to fulfill that order and produce that item, your print on demand supplier is gonna do the entire thing for you. So somebody's gonna come to your store, they're gonna place an order, that order is gonna get automatically rerouted to your print on demand supplier, and they're gonna fulfill the entire order. They're gonna print it, they're gonna produce the item, and they're gonna ship it. Then they're gonna provide the tracking number to you and your customer as well. That's pretty much it. You sell a t-shirt for $25, it costs you about $12 to print, the remaining $13 is your profit. Now, for those of you that don't know, TikTok Shop is just absolutely exploding right now. TikTok Shop, TikTok Shop, it's the new era of TikTok Shop. So what is TikTok Shop? So TikTok came out with their own marketplace. And this is unique because it's integrated directly with your videos. So I'm pretty sure that most of you have come across it, especially since TikTok has been pushing it out like crazy. But I'm pretty sure you've all come across at least a few different videos that have a little yellow box on the bottom left. That means that the video you're watching has a product attached to it. And more than likely that video is promoting that product. So what happens there is if somebody likes your video, if they find it entertaining enough and they find the product that you're offering interesting and they want it, all they have to do is click on that little orange box and it'll take them directly to the product listing where they can check out right from the app. This makes it so much easier and a lot more efficient for you to get your products into the eyes of the customers in a quicker fashion. Up until now, dropshipping on TikTok has been making videos and then somehow telling people to go to the link in your bio because lately, or at least for the last year or two, TikTok has been suppressing videos that have the word bio in them or the word link. So they want people to stay within their platform. So because of that, they came up with TikTok shop where you don't have to send people out. You get rid of the middleman completely. You're doing everything directly on TikTok from the marketing to the selling. And that's pretty much how TikTok shop works. So you can see it's really efficient and it's, it, it's awesome because you're getting rid of the middleman. You're getting rid of an entire step having to send your customers out of the app to your website to make a purchase. That's, you're probably saving them like an easy 10 to 15 minutes simply by doing that. So we all know about TikTok shop and we all know it's virality and just absolutely how crazy it's going and how much money people are making on there. But did you know that there's one topic that a lot of people aren't touching up on? And that's print on demand. Now print on demand on TikTok shop is absolutely exploding and people are making tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this. Now I'm screen recording on my phone right now and I'm gonna show you somebody that I personally know and I'm gonna show you their page, their TikTok shop page. But I am gonna have to blur literally everything out. I can't give away their logo, I can't give away their designs because people have been actually stealing them and their original designs from this person. So I'm not gonna show you the designs simply because I need to keep their privacy, but I am gonna show you the proof of how much money they've made. So check this out. So even though the logo is blurred and so are all of the t-shirt designs, you can easily see how many have been sold for each design. So you can see that the first one has sold over 2000, the second one has sold over 2000, almost at 3000, then 300 and another 300 and a few others. Now in total, this shop has sold about 6.1 thousand shirts in about, I wanna say since November, because I remember talking to this person and around October is when they were opening their shop. And in November, they just posted that one design that made everything else just go absolutely insane. Now, as you saw, they've made about 6.1 thousand sales. So let's just go ahead and do some math. So let's say, like I said, they have 6.1 thousand. So that'll be 6,100 sales in about five or six months. So 6,100 sales times they were selling each shirt for $25. That's in six months, they made $152,000. 
Of course, that's not including expenses and everything. So let's try and factor that in. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much they spend on each one of these shirts, but I can give you a rough estimate. And that's based off of print on demand prices. So typically each shirt's going to be about $7 and then shipping is going to be about five. So let's go ahead and do about $12 per shirt, $12.50 just to give it on the high end. So $12.50 times $6,100, that's giving us a total of $76,000 in actual production. So let's go ahead and subtract that from the grand total. So $152,000 minus $76,250, definitely not what I was supposed to do. So let's go ahead and subtract the $76,250. And that actually, that, that gives us the same price, $76,250. So in about six months, well, in about five months, they've made about $76,000 in profit. <sighs> what are we doing, guys? This is insane. There are so many opportunities out there to start making money online in the simplest ways possible. This person made one t-shirt design that just absolutely blew up on TikTok. And because of that, they started making more and more t-shirt designs. Now, I will tell you this. It was not their first t-shirt design. There were a few trials, a few errors, some worked, some didn't. But ultimately, that one is the one that just set everything off. That just goes to show you that you need to keep going. You need to keep testing different products if you're drop shipping or different designs or products products as well if you're doing prints on demand. So how do we get started with print on demand on TikTok shop? Well, to get everything started for you, one of the easiest ways that you can start doing this is by checking out this video right here. In it, I explain how you can set up a fully automated dropshipping store through AutoDS, Aftership and Shopify. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you this or not, because I don't I don't know if my manager or if everybody else is watching, but I have a surprise for you. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Right now, AutoDS is actually working on a complete bypass for all of that. So you're going to be able to drop ship or sell your print on demand items directly on TikTok shop from AutoDS. So right now there's a totally top secret full on integration project that's being worked on. And that's all I can say about that. So make sure you stick around for that because that's just going to completely change the game. Now, yeah, that video is specifically geared towards drop shipping, but if you set up your store in the same way, you can take advantage of the same features because what we're going to be doing is instead of using the supplier that we chose on that video, we're actually going to be using AutoDS's print on demand feature. Now, TikTok shop does require you to ship your items within three days. And that's the good thing about print on demand is that most items are actually shipping within three to five business days. Now, a few different products are going to ship a bit quicker than others, but just go ahead and check out the different shipping times. And from there, you can see which one would work best for your TikTok shop. Now, aside from that, another option that you have, because I know I did say that you need to ship your items out within three business days, but some of these ship out up to five days. There are services that you can use to spoof a tracking number. So you can use that in the meantime until you can get the real tracking number. Now to get started with print on demand on TikTok shop, this is what you're going to need to do. So once you already checked out the other video and you have everything set up, you're going to need to go over to your account over at AutoDS. Once you're signed on to there, check out the print on demand section over here. And then from here, you can pretty much just start choosing Using all of the different products that you want to offer. For now, though, we're going to stick to the basic t-shirt, but I am going to tell you that hoodies are big sellers. Hoodies are some pretty high ticket items as well. And a lot of these can be sold for easily for about $59.99. So about 60 bucks. So the profit margins on hoodies are pretty good. Now let's just go ahead and like I said, let's just go with a regular t-shirt for now. And once you have the shirt chosen, I suggest to go with the most economical shirt. Typically, it's going to be a unisex one. It's going to cost about $7. There's a few different brands out there, but on the AutoDS platform, you can just look for this one, ZS1001. Now, from here, you just go ahead and choose the color of the shirt. So what color shirt do we want to do? Uh, let's do, I really like turquoise, but that's not a big seller. Let's do the basic athletic heather. So this is kind of like a gray and it's actually very popular. People love this, this color. It's one of the more popular ones amongst your typical black and white as well. So let's go ahead and click on edit product. And now we need to upload our design. So how are we going to find a design to upload on here that people are actually going to be interested in? Well, this is what you're going to need to do. One of the easiest ways is to simply go on Etsy. On Etsy, you can find ready-made designs that you can simply just download and slap onto the shirt or hoodie or whatever it is and start selling it online. Now, what do you want to look for though? That's the thing. You need to find trending designs. You need to find things that are currently hyped up. Also, another thing that you can do is look for original designs. Look for designs that people are not selling or if you're even able to create your own design. I'm going to show you how to do these things right now. So just bear with me one second. So Etsy is perfect for finding ready made designs. Let's say I want to find a funny text, right? Let's say funny text for car lover design. 
All right, so now we have a ton of different designs that we can purchase to put them on our shirt. So we have this one right here. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy car parts. And that's pretty much the same thing, which I'm I'm going to 100% agree with that. Every time I get a new part for my car, I'm just absolutely ecstatic. But as you can see, there's a ton of different ones. I don't know how to act my age. I've never been this old before. <laughs> that's actually really good. And as you can see, there's a few others. There's, there's quite a bit. You can literally do this for any niche. So instead of funny text for car lovers, let's do funny text for animal lovers. And same thing. So you have funny cats in watercolor clip art. You have guess what chicken butt. Love is a four legged world. I don't like that text for four. It's kind of hard to read. And then they have a few other different designs that you can choose from. So Etsy has tons upon tons upon hundreds of thousands of ready-made designs that you can purchase. One tip I'm going to give you is to always make sure that you purchase a PNG or at least that it includes a PNG image. With print on demand, you are going to need to upload your designs and they can't have the background on them. So you can't have the white background on them. Otherwise, it's going to print out with a white background on it and it's not going to look good. So you want to make sure that you have PNGs because PNGs allow you to just simply remove the background entirely. Now, aside from Etsy, where you can buy ready-made designs, you can also find a few custom designs on here as well. So there's going to be a few different listings. Let me see if I can find it. Going back to the car lovers one is this one right here. So the custom. So you can find a few different ones like this too. So you purchase this, you pay simply $2.44 and you tell them exactly what you want. And then they'll send you back the file that's ready to simply use. So you can use it for either your print on demand business or to really just do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it's your design. You're going to be able to use it for whatever you need. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you want to have a few original designs, then you can simply ask ChatGPT. You can go to AI and you can see what it can help you with. So let's ask ChatGPT for a witty saying for a t-shirt. So let's just go ahead and ask it for a witty saying for a t-shirt for ramen lovers. Uh, I don't want it to come up with like an insane amount of words. I just needed to keep it simple. So keep it up to five words. Ramen, the real comfort food. All right, give me five options. So we have ramen, noodle nirvana. I like that. That's actually really cool. You know what? I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna do that. I like that a lot. Slurp happens, ramen helps. That's great. Although for this, I would switch it. I would put ramen happens, slurp helps maybe. In ramen we trust. I like that one. Life's too short for bad ramen. That is 100% true. I don't know if you're getting the, the gist of this right now, but I love ramen. Ramen bowls of joy. So all of these are actually really good. Now you can do these as either basic text or you can add something to it. So you can add a design behind it if you need to. Now, how do we add designs to this or how do we make this into a design? So there's a few different options. For one, you have the two most popular ones, which is going to be using Photoshop and making it yourself or using GIMP, which is kind of like the free version of Photoshop. If you want access to those, just let me know down in the comments below and go ahead and comment the hashtag print on demand and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. If you do that, I'll go ahead and link you to a cheat sheet with everything that I'm covering along with all of the different tips and tricks and some of the different props as well. So remember, if you want access to that, go ahead and comment down below the hashtag print on demand. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you already know what Photoshop is. So I'm just going to quickly show you the website for GIMP. And this is GIMP. Like I said, it's completely free and it's essentially the exact same thing as Photoshop, just with a different layout and a few different features. But again, it's completely free and has the majority of the same features. Now, the other option is to use a service like Kittle. I've talked about Kittle before. You've heard me talk about it on here before, and it's because I love it. I actually have a pro account with them, which for print on demand, for the most part, you are going to need to have pro accounts for almost almost all of these services, whether it be Kittle, Canva, or anything else, in order to export or download the images that you make at a high enough resolution or having the quality to be high enough to be able to print, you're going to need to have the professional account because most of the services, if not all of the services, actually downscale your images prior to sending it to you. If you check out the how to start dropshipping on TikTok shop video in there, I talk about how the resolution to print images needs to be 300 DPI, but most of these services are going to give it to you at 72, which means the quality is going to be a lot less. And most print on demand services just flat out won't accept low quality designs. Now, on Kittle, it's worth it. Like, honestly, it's not expensive. It's about $15 a month. And the service itself is really, really good. So let's just run over really quick to Kittle, the start creating with AI. 
And I'm just going to take one of the prompts and I'm going to see what it gives me. I'm not even going to get super specific with it because it's going to take too much time right now. So I'm going to choose t-shirt graphic, ramen, noodle, nirvana. And you know what? Let's just see what it comes up with. All right. So this is what it came up with. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. It's very simple. It, you can tell what it is. Obviously, it's ramen. It just has the extra little chopstick here for some reason. But just put up here ramen and then noodle nirvana on the bottom, which you can easily do through here with the text. And you should have a pretty decent design. Now, obviously, this might not be your best seller, but maybe Mixing in this technique along with finding different images through Etsy, you're going to be able to eventually come across a winner that can get you a few sales and actually start making some money. But again, like I said, like the example that I gave you at the beginning, you need to test out different niches. You need to test out what works and you need to make sure that you're excluding what doesn't work. So if something's not selling, get rid of it. Try a different design. Don't spend too much time on it or even worse, don't spend too much money on it. So I already have one design that I'm going to go ahead and upload on here. So let me just go ahead and upload that really fast. And me personally, I get anxious when I go out. I don't know why. I just don't like being around huge crowds. So this is actually a shirt that's personal to me, I guess. Let's check it out. And it's the antisocial butterfly shirt. So once we have the image uploaded, all you need to do is just simply adjust it. Do I want it down here? No, it's going to look horrible. Make it a little bit higher. Now, do we want to make it bigger or smaller? Just clip it from the side and adjust accordingly. I'm going to leave it like this for now. And now if you want to add a few different colors, which I highly suggest you do, you can add them through here. So let's add the cardinal because that's a really nice color. Of course, let's do our basic white and black and we can add a few others. So let's do red, royal and gold. Let's go ahead and preview it to see how it looks. All right. So this is how it's going to look. It looks really good. The mock-up looks great. Let's go ahead and exit that. Let's see how it looks in red. That looks good too. The white, the gold, the gold actually looks really nice. And that's it. Now all we have to do is click on save. And then this is going to go to our draft section where we can make any necessary edits to it. So we can edit the title, the description, the price, everything that we need. Now, how can you actually find trends that are currently, well, trending? So for this, what I do is I use Google Trends. So let's run over to trends.google.com and let's see what can currently be trending that people are looking for that people will show interest in. Now we are in April, April, May, and one of the biggest events that's coming up has to be the election. And for the election, people get extremely passionate to say the least. They get very, very defensive. They get very, very patriotic. They get very, very, a little bit of everything. The emotions are everywhere. And you can capitalize on that because people are not scared to show their patriotism, whether they're the far left or the far right or right in the middle or do not care at all. They don't care to show how they feel and they'll express themselves in pretty much any possible way. And t-shirts tend to be the number one way to do this. So as a personal and professional tip, if you want to have something that really sells and is going to gain a lot of attention, get into the election, start making a few different designs for the election, whether that be left or right, or my suggestion, both don't pick a side, do both. There's going to be people that are going to be just going crazy for those. Trust me. Now, if there's any other trend that you want to check out and you're not sure whether or not, you know, products are trending in that, then we can check Google trends. So for this, let's go ahead and look up election shirts. Now shirts is a bit specific. So let's see what results that gives us. And let's switch this over to the past. Let's do 12 months for this one because the elections are kind of, you know, every four years. Now 12 months shows a bit actually. So you have a few people searching for it. Wow. I'm actually surprised at how many people have been searching for it in the last month. Now, what about the last five years? So obviously nobody's going to be looking for election shirts a year after an election. People are going to be looking for it right before. But when is this? So here we can see that there's a massive spike. Like when I say massive, I mean massive spike in November, like right at the beginning of November. So at the beginning of October is when you want to start entering this niche. If not now, I would start stocking up now, to be honest with you. Just get a collection of different types of designs, stock everything up. So that way, when October comes around, you're already locked and loaded. So October 25th to the 31st is just right when it starts to really just skyrocket up. And then after that, around mid November, actually, or the end of November makes sense because that's the end of the elections is when it starts to go down. But look at this 100 compared to three. It's it's insane. It's a massive amount. Now, aside from that, though, what else can we do? Let's check out maybe pets. What about pets? When are pets trending? Pets should be trending year round. But let's see if there's anything in particular that really makes any spikes. So here we have in June around December and August. So it's kind of random. The spikes are kind of random. What about in the last 12 months? So in the last 12 months there, it's been kind of steady, but we can see that here actually 
at the beginning of March, pets started trending and they started trending pretty well. So right now we're in the middle of a spike. So this could be also another really good opportunity to jump in on a current trend and start capitalizing on that. Now, do you want to get a few more insights on this? Do you want to see maybe if there's something more specific, then scroll down and then you can look up at either related topics or related queries. And then you can check out some of these different options that they have here. And if any of this relates to you, then you can see if you can start offering anything in these particular niches, or if you can niche down even further with these over here. Now, everything down here is actually pretty much breaking out. These are all things that are really starting to spike up. So you have moose, little live pets. I don't know what that is. Arnold Schwarzenegger pets. Interesting. So you can actually probably come up with a very bulky, huge pit bull or gorilla or something like that. That just shows working out and have, I don't know, some sort of resemblance to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Same thing goes for, let's say, elegant pets. I'd never expected elegant pets to be trending. So maybe you can do an elegant pets t-shirt where it has maybe a snobby poodle that's just looking up all, you know, snobby and whatnot, just and then on top it says, I may not be spoiled, but my dog is. I don't know, something something along those lines. Remember, you can always use ChatGPT to give you some pretty funny and witty sayings. Aside from that though, you can also just go on TikTok. And when you are on TikTok, you simply just look up your niche and t-shirt. So I put offensive t-shirt just because I love offensive t-shirts. Again, they do really well. They really grab people's attention and it's the trend. Honestly, right now, offensive anything is kind of what's trending. I've seen a lot of people with funny yet offensive shirts, but not too offensive because you don't really want to offend anybody. Well, I mean, at least we don't, some people do. But looking through here, we can see that there's a Gen X shirt. So let's check this one out. This one actually has 2.3 million views. Now this one has a Gen X shirt raised on hose water and <laughs> raised on hose water and neglect. I mean, that's <laughs> all right. The only thing I have to say about the shirt is that that is perfect for the topic. So millennials and generation X are essentially the, you know, the outside generation, the people that the babies that weren't wanted for some reason, that's a huge trend and it's, it's been picking up a lot. And as you can see here, it's obviously doing really, really well. 78,000 likes, 2000 comments, almost 6,000 saves. And it's just a basic shirt. Generation X raised on hose water and neglect just with just some typewriter text. That's all there is to it. Remember when it comes to print on demand, t-shirts designs like that, a lot of the times the simpler, the better people like simplicity. People don't like overbearingness. People don't like to be overbeared with colors, text, sayings, things like that. All right, so now that we know how to get started and how to design our shirts, how are we gonna market these? So marketing on TikTok, honestly, is it has to be the easiest thing that you can do, especially when it comes to print on demand and things like t-shirts. So looking at some of the ones over here, let's check out this one. This one has 24,000 views, so that's pretty good. And really what this guy is doing is designing mildly offensive t-shirts from your comments. So he's replying to people's comments and he's He's engaging with his audience. This is extremely important, especially on a platform like TikTok, where you're a creator and you have an audience. You have people that are interacting with you. If you don't answer to their comments, if you just leave everybody there, if you don't even like a comment, people are not going to like you because you're not going to be engaging with them. So let's check this out. Designing mildly offensive t-shirts from your comments. So he's acknowledging all of the different comments and he's making a few shirts and a few different that one's hilarious. And a few different designs. Now, this one right here, I highly suggest you do not do because for one, it could potentially be a little bit overly offensive, but mainly because this is actually a family guy character. So remember, no copyright images that can get your entire store shut down. Take it from personal experience. It's happened in the past. Now, this guy has link in bio, but since we're going to be doing this on TikTok shop, we're not going to have a link in bio. The link is actually going to be on your phone on the bottom. So that way, whenever somebody comes across your video, then they'll have the option to purchase it right there. So point of TikTok shop, it's quick access. But that's pretty much the easiest way that you can start your print on demand business through TikTok shop. As you can see, it's very easy to get started and it's really easy to lift off the ground. The only thing is that you just need to stay consistent. Like I said, not everything is going to work the first time. Not every product is going to go viral. So you just need to keep at it. Eventually, somebody that likes what you have to offer is going to come across it. They could potentially share it. Their friends, their family, their followers are potentially all interested in the same product or the same niche. And you have a winning product. You have a winner. So don't give up because honestly, you need to stay persistent and you need to continue just going at it. Try different designs. Try different products. Try different shirts. Try different colors. Try different hoodies. Things like that. Just don't give up. 
Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with all of the different links and all of the different insights that I'm giving you in this video, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag print on demand and let me know what your takeaway was from the video. What did you learn from this video? Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did, that means you enjoyed this video. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos, whether it has to do with dropshipping or print on demand. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.